In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide errors in Google Sheets by using the if error function. So sometimes when you're working in a large data set and you have various formulas or calculations in your data set, uh, sometimes you're gonna get these error messages here. Um, there's a few different types that you can get, um, but if you are working on a large spreadsheet and you have a ton of these error messages, it kind of makes your spreadsheet uh, look really messy and hard to read. So what you can do is you can use the function if error to actually control um, how these error messages di display. So in this example data, um, I just have a few basic error messages. So one of them I get because I'm trying to add a number to a letter. This one I'm trying to add two letters. Um, this one I'm doing a basic V lookup um, on a value that doesn't exist where I'm looking it up. So um, these are just some examples of error messages. So what you can do is use the if error function to control for this. So the if error function will take a value and if the value is true, um, that value will display, or I should say if that value does not equal an error, the original value will display. And then if it does equal an error, you can either um, have a custom message you want to display in place of that error, or you can leave it uh, blank, that second argument, and nothing will appear. Um, where that error would normally appear. So again, there's only the two arguments of the function. So to better explain this, um, let's take a look at this data. So I have this same formula that I had in the previous example, but this time I wrapped it in an if error message. So if it's not an error, um, this value will calculate as normal. So it's just three because one plus two equals three. So the value still calculates as normal. And then I didn't specify a second argument in the function. So when you don't specify a second argument in this function, if there's an error message, it's just going to return as a blank instead of the error message. So you can see this is blank, this is blank, and this is blank. And that's because these, if we look at the previous example, are all the ones where there's an error message. But now by wrapping this um, this calculation in an if error, since it equals an error, is now returning as a blank. Now again, you can either return it as a blank or you can actually control what gets returned if there's an error message. So this time I have the same example, but I specified the second argument in the function. Inside quotation marks, I put error, which means that if this equals an error message, let's return this value. So you can see the ones that had errors now have been returned my custom uh, text here. And you can change this and you can return basically whatever you want if there's an error message. So this same thing also works when dividing by zero. So you can see in this example I have one divided by zero and it results in um, this divide by zero error. And then in this row, I have the same exact thing, but this time I wrapped it in an if error. So by default, if it equals an error um, and you don't specify the second argument, it's gonna return blank, or you can control what is returned. This is an error, error. Um, so that's basically um, how to use the if error function. Now the last thing I'm gonna show is combining this with filtering to actually hide all of the rows that have error messages. So I'll show you that. So I have this same um, example where I've specified the second argument. So if this results in an error message, let's return error instead of a blank. So you can see I have these three errors. Now what I can do is I can use this in combination with filtering to actually not display any row that has an error message. So to do that, I'm gonna highlight my data. I'm gonna go up to data, create a filter. Now you should see these filter buttons appear in your top row. 
So I'm going to click on the filter button in the column that contains my errors. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect the error here and select OK. And you can see now all those rows are hidden. So that is the best way to hide errors in Google Sheets. You can control them with the if error function. And then if you don't even want to look at those rows, just apply filtering to that and deselect anything that has an error message. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found that useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.